Welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with more Let's Play Secret of Mana. I'm joined, as always, by Jake. Yancy and Shion are hanging out. They're, they're kind of glued together right now, though. We are still in Guy's Naval. That is where we last left off. We need to get out of here. And the easiest way to do that is through the exit that Watts has made for us. Very, very simple. Now, I should say that this game is technically a co-op. Uh, I've never played this game co-op. To be honest, I hardly had any friends that had video games back in my Super Nintendo days. Uh, but if you did, they could take over your party members. They could be anybody just like you. Uh, you would need some sort of uh, multi-tap in order to get a third character uh, controlled, a third Yes, through here. Uh, you, you would need some sort of multi-tap in order to have them take over the third character, but it was possible to have them take over the second one if you just had the second controller, uh, which is very nice and very innovative for the time, especially the whole uh, just being optional part of it. However, as you get further through the game, you definitely want somebody that is more familiar with the game uh, before you start trying to move on to, let's say, the final dungeon with somebody that's never played the game before taking over one of your magic casters. That's probably not a good idea, but the game technically does have multiplayer for it. Yancy has reached level two. Watch Yancy's levels just go way up. Now, something else that I should mention is uh, the weapon levels. Uh, the weapon levels are limited. Uh, you can only get Okay, how do I phrase this? You can only get nine levels. Well, technically eight, I guess you could say, but there's nine levels for each um, for each weapon. It goes up to level eight, but of course, since it starts at zero, there are nine levels. Um, however, you are limited. We're heading for the haunted forest, by the way, back the way that we came. Now that we have the axe, that's probably important to mention as well. But for the weapon levels, it is limited. You can only get up to the level of your weapon plus one. And we don't have any more room for medical herbs. For instance, uh, the sword that Jake has right now, it is level two because we have upgraded it from the rusty sword to the broad sword. So it's now level two. So now he can get level three on the sword. However, the boomerang that Yancy has is still level one. So the most that Yancy can get is a uh, level two on the boomerang. Does that make sense? We'll, we'll, we'll continue going. There are many more opportunities to level up our weapons as we go. Now I am told, poison needles, damn you. I am told that there is a uh, limit to when you can upgrade your weapon levels. I have not seen this for myself, but just beware of that. You want to try to keep um, leveling up your, your weapons and, well, anything else that you might need to level as you go through the game. Yancy, get up here. Thank you. This is the bad part about having the three party members. It does make things a lot easier. Uh, however, they tend to not do very well in uh, in terms of moving around. Yes. We want to keep going this way. Damn it. I need to go down here. And they will hold you back. They will prevent you from moving forward sometimes, so you have to go back and clear their AI. Really? Up to level 4 already? Yancy, you are doing pretty damn well. Now, I haven't, like I said, I haven't done any sort of grinding. Anything that I uh, got on screen is all that I have right now. I haven't purchased anything, anything like that. Let's go back pretty much where we were before, where we were stopped by the barrier and needed to get an axe. We have an axe now. Jake's weapon skill is up, which makes it level three, should my memory serve me correctly. Let's just double check here. Uh, stats, there we go, weapon or magic level. We haven't gotten to magic, but we'll, we can check that. Uh, no, we're only level two on the broadsword, so I think he can level that up one more time. However, it is time for me to change over 
to the axe. Watt's axe. It does decrease his, uh, his overall attacking power, but it is able to take those down. So we might as well level up the axe a little bit here. I'm going to try to, to spread out what everybody is using. I don't know where we can go that way. So let's just go through here. Uh, I'm going to try to keep uh, Yonzi on anything ranged. Doesn't look like there's anything I can do there either. That is too bad. We're going to have to find a separate way to go. Looks like we're going to have to head back up here. Now, the weapons, of course, uh, have their own kind of experience bar, I guess you could say. So, the tougher enemies that you fight, it doesn't matter whether... Actually, it does matter whether, whether you kill them or not. Uh, oh, Boomerang reaches level 1 for Yanzi. Uh, when you kill an enemy... Ooh, candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Uh, when you kill an enemy, you get roughly twice as much uh, weapon experience as the rest of the party members. Uh, so... Really, if you're trying to level up a certain character's uh, weapon, then you want to get the finishing blow with that character. Damn, I got the guy up there, too. Can I get him again? Ah, uh, oh, come on. No, oh, fine, I'll just move on. We'll move on out of there. I wanted to kill that guy, though. I should probably switch uh, Yancy over to... I mean... Sometimes this this system gets a little complicated for me, but I will try to keep it keep it going here. I switched Deonsi over to the bow. That's what's important. There is another teleporter. Uh, let's take care of this guy first. Yeah, Deonsi's doing a little bit more damage with the bow. That is nice. Hopefully, we can get that level up pretty damn soon. Where the hell did that black come from? Things are just spawning on the screen when I do not want them to. And that should finish the job. Let's head in here. And oh, we have a spawner. We have an eye spy, as it's called. This guy sucks. You want to kill him. Die. There we go. And Yanzi has reached level 5. Very nice. And Xion's weapon skill is up. Spear reaches level 2. I should probably change her too. I see I need to select her first. Keep on forgetting that I need to do that. And we'll move her. There we go, move Xion. Let's put her back on the spike knuckles. We might as well get a little bit of grinding early on with that. Yes, Jake is in charge here. Yeah. And it looks like we have connected these two things there, which should help us move forward the other way. So it's just time for a little bit of backtracking. Once again, you want to kill everything as you go. It's always easier to kill as you go than to do separate grinding. At least that is my strategy, usually, unless the game forces me otherwise. Mushroom gets whacked for 79. Holy crap. And this isn't even my best weapon. I'm just trying to level this up. Damn it, Yonce. Get up here and kill something good. Hey, no, damn it, Blat. Can I? Yeah, I can't hit him. Yonce. Yonce. There we go. Now if I'm in control of Yancey, that makes this a lot easier, which is why this game is a lot easier as co-op. Uh, however, that option really isn't available for me right now, so we're just going to stick with single player. Single player, of course, still very fun for me. It's, well, it's what I grew up with. Nobody wanted to play video games with a little bala. Not a single person. Down goes the Chubman Hood. And we can take on the plant as well. Back to the way that we came. And no treasure chests anywhere to be found. Welcome to Secret of Mana. Now we can head this way, which was unavailable to us before. We're not going to be able to take on any of those guys. And I can't even head down there, so let's just go over to the right. And we can take on more Chubman Hoods. Yeah, there's not going to be much new uh, enemies here. Hopefully with the uh, the three party wow the three party members now we should be able to, to take them off take everybody out a little bit more easily that looks familiar but there's nothing I can do with that just yet if only I had some kind of magical shot that would have a grappling hook on it or something 
let's just head this way because this way I know I can go. And around here, if my party members would allow me to. See, when they start getting some damage in, it works out well for everybody. Yes, get over here and kill it. I'll just stand back. I probably should start moving them on the action grid again, but I'm a little nervous, especially about Yancey. Yancey is not doing uh, fantastic when it comes to not dying. What always bothered me, though, just, just a little pet peeve of mine, and there's really no reason for me to be upset about this at all, and I fully understand that. Hooray! Weapon skill up! Axe reaches level 1! Now... Wait. I'm trying to remember if weapon skills... If the weapon starts at level 0 or if it starts at level 1. It's been a long time. I can't remember. Uh, we probably... Well, I'm gonna stick with the axe and we'll see if I can level it up again. Actually, you know... He needs to go on the spear. Go spear. Now, when you upgrade the weapons, it also randomly gives you a power up. What the hell? We got new enemies. We got werewolves. That's, that's what these guys are. What the hell are you doing? I keep on hearing a buzzing sound. Damn it, werewolves can kick. Since when can you do that? Damn. And Yancey's leveled up again. Yancey is catching up quickly. Now we are technically in the castle. I can't go that way, so let's go back around. We got another I Spy spawner. I do not want him to live, and we will take care of him eventually. Well, like I said, I'm going to try to split the, uh, the melee weapons between... Cure! How dare you cure? Okay. Whoever is curing needs to die. I don't remember which one of you cures. I don't think it's the werewolf. But we got the mushroom regardless. The hell is that sound? Damn it! I've been moogled! No! Get me out of here! Moogles don't know how to fight in this game. Uh, we haven't found a game where they know how to fight. What am I talking about? Moogles don't fight ever. Xion levels up, up to le Damn it! Moogled again! And Yancey's level up again. I'm gonna keep Yancey on the bow and arrow. We, we will know if that levels up. Um, but I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, the, the weapon level, I think the weapon itself starts at level zero so that it would be impossible with an original weapon to get up to level 2 on it. Damn it. These things need to die. And then this thing... Dad, how do you hit me from behind? 